the guys from Thomann sent us three different Harley Benton delay pedals, so let's check them out and see how well they perform with bass. <laughs> Hi, this is Gregor from Baseball.com and today I'm very happy to introduce a new player for our videos here. You just heard him in the intro, his name is Phil Rehm. Uh, he's German but he's living in the Netherlands and I'm very happy that I could get him to play here because he's a super creative bass player, he has a great tone. So uh, get familiar with his face, he will be on the channel much more often in the future. <laughs> A delay is a very simple effect. It basically just takes your bass line and doubles it after a certain amount of time that you usually can set on the pedal. But of course not all uh, delays are created equal. So let's find out what makes these three here different. Let's start with the Harley Benton Digital Delay. This is the most affordable out of the bunch. It costs only 29 euros, which is insanely low. Of course for this money you shouldn't expect too much from the pedal, but on the other hand there's not really anything I can complain about here. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and it does it well. You got three controls. We have time that of course sets the delay time. We get up to 600 milliseconds. We have repeat. And uh, with this one, you can decide how many times you want to have a certain note or phrase repeated. As a bass player, I always recommend to keep this at zero. So you get only one repeat because it kind of gets messy after that. If you want to create some cool spheric soundscapes, then you can turn this up. but. If you want to stay like in a more normal musical kind of thing, just keep it down there, believe me. And the third is of course the level. This is the level, the volume of the delay. So you can make it a little bit quieter, which I like to do, than your original sound. So you can still hear a difference from the original bass playing and the delay. Otherwise, this pedal, it's nothing special about it. It does what it's supposed to do. I mean, if you just want to get started and want to try out a delay for bass, go for it and have fun. Next delay is the custom line DL5 from Harley Benton. This one's very similar to the blue one that we just had, but uh, with the difference that this one here has an analog circuit. It's not really an analog delay, it just sounds a little bit more analog, whatever that means, but it still has a digital chip inside. Uh, you only get 400 milliseconds, that's something to should be aware of, so this is more for shorter delays, for slap back kind of things. Especially for this purpose you have this switch where you can get your short delays even shorter, really cool. It doesn't really sound analog, but uh, it, it sounds good, but uh, don't get you tricked by the analog vintage optic, it's not, it's not really, it's not really that. <laughs> The third delay goes by the name of D seed, and this is something completely different, I have to say. Of course, it's the digital circuit, and coming from that, it's of course similar to the other pedals, but the options and the things that you can do with it are very different. First of all, we have uh, two channels that you can switch. Um, that means you can store two different delay sounds and uh, just switch back and forth between them, which is really cool. Also, which is an even bigger deal, you get the top tempo here. It's not the best uh, thing I have to say, uh, because you have to actually push both foot switches at the same time. These are not just like these pushy, these are just like these clicky things, so it's a little bit easier, but this could be handled a little bit easier, I think. Actually, it would be would make more sense to make this the top tempo and the channel switching with both switches or something like this. I don't I don't know. However, um, this has more cool things. Uh, you get you get your modes here. Uh, you have four different modes that you can make the delay sound like. Uh, first one is just a regular digital delay, just as the other pedals. 
second one is an analog that sounds it's not really analog it's just a simulation but it sounds warmer and nicer uh, third one is a modulation that adds some sort of a chorus on the delay pedal uh, signal not on your bass only on the delay and uh, this sounds actually very really good and the fourth one is a reverse which is a fun effect it just just reverses your whole bass thing and uh, this is amazing if you want to create some soundscapes and some some just some fun bass stuff so if i had to get one of those pedals i definitely would go with this one uh, it's still very inexpensive with 59 bucks it's still nothing but uh, this pedal actually can do some things and uh, you don't have to knee down all the time and set the tempo for a new song or something like this just do everything with your feet and uh, yeah you get these cool sounds especially reverse is something that I always like a lot so um, cool pedal mm -hmm. 